Okay, gonna have to ask you to not do that. Thanks, Pumpkin. Howdy everybody, welcome back to the Month of America! Today on the agenda is Contra Reforged! That's right, it's a fan-made project to turn Contra into 3D! Isn't that great? Okay, that's interesting. Oh boy. What's with that lock-on thing? For some reason it seemed to make the game lag. Here you go, buddy. I'm not exactly familiar with the controls since I just picked it up. Hey, friend. Uh oh. There we go. Oh boy. I'm guessing that means they're trying to lock on to me. Or something, I don't know. Uh oh. Oh boy. Well, uh, there I go. I thought going into the water didn't kill you. Must be a different kind of Contra. Ah, damn. I'm not sure what controls do what other than just jump and shoot. And of course, aim. There we go. I wonder if I can get some upgrades to my gun. Oh, okay. That's great. Oh, crap. I didn't realize I was getting brained on. That's unfortunate. Oh, boy. Let's get the hell out of here. Jeez, I'm just getting pe Okay, then. What the hell? What gives? Why am I getting shot down on? This may be a little harder than I bargained for. Then again, it is Contra. Contra's never supposed to be easy, that's for sure. Go straight to hell, pal. because I missed that guy. That seems plausible. There we go. Hot damn. Hot damn indeed. Need to watch out for those aerial shots, for sure. I don't even know where they're coming from. They're coming from over there. Somewhere over there. I think they're throwing grenades at me from above. Damn. How rude of you. Oh boy, better stop, not stop moving. If I stop moving, I'm dead. And I fall in the water. Just gonna point out that in the original game, you didn't have to worry about falling into water. Just thought I'd make a note of that. In some ways, this is actually harder than the original. I bet you want to bet if, even if I land on land, I'll die. Of course. I didn't even notice that guy. Okay. There we go. 
jerkass. Alright, there we go. It seems these bullets go a little farther than I thought, but not much. That seems to be the limit on their... on their distance. Let's see, can I just jump over there? Oh boy. Damn. Going on bridges seems to automatically cause grenades to fall down. Ah, crap. Wait, that's where they were coming from! That bastard down there was chucking grenades at me. No wonder. Okay, there is a way out without dying. That's good to know. You bastard. Okay, that was a close one. Phew! Yeah, there we go. Indeed. So that's why I was getting... I had grenades chucked at me. And it doesn't matter, because I'm dead. What the fuck? How was I supposed to make that jump? Did someone tell me how I was supposed to make that jump? Because it doesn't seem possible. Well, I guess on the plus side, if they can shoot me, that means I can shoot them. And vice versa. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. When they're close enough to fire on me, I'm close enough to fire on them. My eyes peeled. Oh boy. Yeah, now that I can see it. They were always coming from below, weren't they? Need to find out where the bastard's hiding. Son of a... I don't have the luxury of finding out. Without dying, of course. You think you're a little harsh, huh? Don't you think you're a little harsh there, buddy? Just a little bit? Also, didn't I have three at one point? Why did I go down to two? I, I mean, I like started out at two this time. What's going on, bro? I don't understand how this works. Can't stop for a second. I can't target the people that I think are going to be the bigger pain in the ass. There's a different pain in the ass is gonna... Okay. I won. I gotta... I um, earned one, I guess. I guess you can earn them by killing enemies. There you are. Question is which one of us is gonna kill the other one first? I guess that answers that, doesn't it? You'd think this would be a game where you just run forward as fast as you can, and in the original that's kinda true. It seems here you also have to focus on trying to dodge. Where's that guy coming from? Where's that son of a bitch coming from? I need to find him. Damn it. I'll figure it out eventually. It must be in that direction. Shit. I can't see where they're coming from. Oh boy. Well, I think I'm screwed now, because I can't jump up there. I've already determined that much. I don't think it's possible. There, there that guy was hiding. I was sort of right about heading in his direction, but I was off about the specifics. How come there's nowhere to jump onto? 
I mean, honestly. There's no way I can jump onto that. My jump is way too weak. I can jump down here, but that's about it. Maybe I can get back up. Okay, I think I can. There we go. Good. Now I just have to kill the foot soldiers. Who aren't as tough. Thank God I got those grenade guys. They are way too much trouble for me. Never mind then. Looks like I missed one. Where is the bastard? Cowardly asshole. He must be on the other side of the bridge too because he can still pelt me. Was that him? Son of a bitch. Oh, crap, 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 man. It's way too easy to get surrounded. That never happened in the original. I know, this isn't technically the original, and you can aim, which does give you a perk in some regards, but in other regards, it's just a thousand times tougher. So you have to be everywhere at once. Multitasking is real, bro. You gotta be everywhere at once. It's crazy. Wait a minute. That was interesting. It seems shooting down those guns specifically gets you more medals, which is basically an extra life. Well, I don't see any way forward this way. Better hope I can jump it. I can. Good. At least I already established that I can get up this way. That helps. That definitely helps. A little. There we go. Have they... okay. Bastards in this direction. I sworn there was a guy in this direction, too. Frick's sake. I can't even see the projectiles. I don't even know where the bastard is hiding. Maybe I can jump that way. Okay. Very least take some cover here. Ah, shit. You can't change your direction after jumping, that makes it a hell of a lot tougher. Well, good to know. Man, this game is kicking my ass. Then again, when I played Contra on the Super Nintendo, it was kicking my ass too, so maybe it's true to form. That's a maybe. Go to hell. There's the bastard now. I see him. There, that's one problem solved. Damn. Damn, there's another one. I forgot, there's another one down there. There we go. Every time I jump this, it feels like it's a gamble. Like I might not be able to make it this time. There we go. The less problems I've got, the better. 
I think I've got enough problems as it is, both externally and internally. Where are the other guys? Other than right there, of course. I forgot what that other guy is. Called it. I knew there was gonna be a grenade. But where is that bastard? Where's he hiding? See anyone. I can't even get up. I'm screwed. Yeah, I was screwed. There's a slope there to prevent you from jumping. Good to know that was a dead end, huh? Devious bastard made me think I could jump up there. How dare you? Definitely much harder than the original Contra, than Contra 1. Contra 3 was pretty tough too, so I don't... It might be a wash between those two, but... Contra 1 was actually easier, at least on the first stage. That's right, kill the grenade bastard. Oh, there's the other one, I forgot. There, at least now I don't have to worry about him. Now I just have to worry about falling. I guess it's true what they say. You can't fight nature. You can't fight change. And you can't fight gravity. Thanks, Dutch. Shit. Especially not when you jump without looking. And you aren't gonna fight shit if you do that. Except you're gonna be fighting with yourself. That's pretty much a constant for me, though. I've been fighting with myself for a long ass time. Where's Mr. Grenade? Where the hell is he? I don't see him anywhere. Unless he's right there. It's the only spot that's close enough, unless he's hiding behind those trees somewhere. Luckily I've got infinite ammo. I've got that much working out for me. Yep. Where the hell he's coming from? Damn it. If I got one just now, that means I lost one just now, too. Damn, where are all the grenades coming from? Is he right on top of me? Is he on that bridge up there? Ah, son of a bitch, I got caught in something. I don't even know what I got caught in. It wouldn't even let me move, man. Also, why are those lives? It seems like every time you run out of health, it's just an instant game over, as if that's your act- yeah, that's just your lives. Okay, never mind. Okay. Don't know what I thought that would do. Crap. Time to multitask again. There we go. Much better. Oh boy. Better watch out. Oh 
Where's that grenade? That grenade bastard even coming from? I have yet to find him. All I know is that he must be coming from that direction because once I cross this bridge, then he's close enough. If he was coming from this direction, he'd try to pelt me when I'm on here. On this little island here. He's coming from that direction for sure. But where? I can't even see where the projectile is coming from. It's too fast. Wait, is he coming from over there? I thought I saw something. That sneaky bastard, he is coming from over there. Did I get him? It locked onto his position, too. Damn it! Can't focus on shit. You try focusing on one element, then the other elements take you out. That's another thing you would never have to worry about. The bridge is being in 3D is a real pain in the ass, ain't it? Hmm. Well, that's one way. I can preemptively take them all out. I might just have a chance. So I wonder if you can just get free lives every set amount of kills. Does that mean I can just keep pelting those guys and get a free, free life or something? Or maybe they don't count. Seems like only special enemies count, like the guns. Those two guys were one, were two more things that I don't have to worry about anymore. I don't understand though. I can't seem to pelt that grenade guy. Hot damn. That's right, you better run. Ah, oh, crap. I don't think that hit me unless... Okay, yeah, I got an extra life and then... It, there it went. I got a lock on. Somewhere, hey! Cheap asshole. Ah, shit, I just ran right into it. Hey, dick. Quit spawning in infinitely. Try to take care of someone here, can't you tell? Damn. He's just close enough. I see a guy up there. Is that him? No, it can't be. He's too far away. He must be right there. I can't hit him. Damn. Thank God for this ledge, huh? Otherwise, I'd never make any progress. I know, I'm not really making any permanent progress because I just keep going back to the checkpoint, but still. I am getting to places that I haven't before, so that's good, I guess. Let's just keep jumping. If I just keep jumping, I should, uh, I should be okay. Because you seem to go faster when you're jumping. I got hit. But at least I got an extra life, so it cancels out. Damn. I got hit again. And again. It's hard to avoid these guns. Shit, I could have sworn I just destroyed it. There we go. I was about to say, man. 
Ah, shit. There you are, you son of a bitch. Too bad I can't hit you from here. Asshole. Hmm. There's one guy up there. There we go. Of course, more grenades. Damn, that slope makes it difficult. How do I jump up there anyway? The only thing I can think of is to go that way. But I don't think I can. I've tried that before. We've been, we've been over this already. If I get hit one more time, I'm dead. I was only gonna get anywhere by risking it, and unfortunately the risk... ...turned against me. I was just gonna be stuck there anyway. I had to take the gamble. Even if the gamble screwed me over. Think of it. Nope, that doesn't work either. Supposedly, if you enter the Konami code, it gets you more lives. Wait a minute. I could have sworn I saw a guy down there. Fortunately, I can't check because more guys keep spawning in this way. Go to hell. There we go. Let's carry your stupid ass. Ready to die. Son of a bitch. It is a nice recreation, but it is. It feels like it's hard as balls, man. Okay, there we go. At least I made it this far. I'm definitely not gonna make it up there, but at least I made it this far, so that's something, I think. Hey, I got four badges. Hooray. Those four badges are gonna do me exactly as much good as zero if I fall in the water. kind of weird to me. Ah, I see. No choice. I want to see if I can actually make it. If, it. if it's even remotely possible to get anywhere this way. Damn bastard. Okay, definitively concluded that it is not. Before I go, I'm gonna try one last thing. I'm gonna think of it. Yeah. As I saw from a trailer video, you can go through the trees. That's interesting. That's very interesting, I think. Come on. There we go. Damn. Can I make that gap? Not with them shooting at me, I can't. Damn, I was so close. So tough. Wait a minute. Nope, that doesn't work either. Actually, hold on a second. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Whatever the Konami code is, I don't know what it is. Plus, there's not that much time left anyway. 
so probably not the best idea anyway. This has been good, even if it is kicking my ass and I can't figure out where the grenaders are coming from sometimes. Okay, gonna have to ask you to not do that. Thanks, Pumpkin. Oh boy. Okay, hurry up and die. Thank you. Really appreciate it. There we go. Come on now. Okay, unfortunately I'm, uh, I'm all out of time here, so I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Be sure to spread this video around like bullets and grenades everywhere. Now we'll see you next time. Oh, jeez, getting stuck again. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. Get eaten more bullets, because I can't move. And have a nice and very pleasant day. Holy crap, I'm getting outrun. Outnumbered. See you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep notified of new videos and maybe even check out these videos right here. If you wanted to like and leave a comment, that'd be great too.